Hi, and welcome to our motorcycle tire guide. In this section, we're looking at the question of tubes. Some tires run with tubes, some tires run without them. How do you know what to choose and how do you go about buying it? So right off the bat, there's just a couple codes you need to know. TT indicates a tube type tire and TL indicates a tube list tire, a tire that's not meant to be used with an inner tube. On some manufacturers, they'll just say it in words. They'll just say tube type tire or tubeless tire. That's really nice for you. It's really simple. So you might see that as well. What we really recommend with this is just, again, going with the manufacturer's recommendations. The motorcycle is going to spec uh, a tire that's going to be tubed or tubeless. And that's really what you should get every time you replace the tires on your bike. Going against those recommendations can create a few problems. So we're going to outline them for you here. So first off, uh, one example would be trying to put a tubeless tire on a bike that specifies using a tire with an inner tube. Now this is going to have big problems for you really, really quickly, because odds are if the motorcycle specifies using a tire with an inner tube, then the rim on that motorcycle isn't airtight. And that's often the case with spoked wheels. So if you have spoked wheels, everywhere that spoke meets the outside of the rim, that's not going to be an airtight seal. So if you try putting a tubeless tire on there and filling it up, it's just going to leak like a sieve through the rim and you're going to be having to refill it you know every 15 minutes so that's really not a fun decision to make you might as well just get a tube type tire and not worry about it now on the flip side of this would be using an inner tube in a tire that's meant to be used without one or using an inner tube and a tube type tire on a motorcycle that specifies using a tube list tire and that's the flip side of this situation and these both of these situations really can work in a pinch you know, if you're stuck in the middle of the Gobi and your tire goes flat and you can throw an inner tube in it to inflate it up, you know, that'll get you out of the Gobi. It's probably a good idea. And in fact, it may even last you the length of the tread life on that tire. You may never have a problem with it. But really, if you can avoid it and your motorcycle specifies using a tubeless tire, then you really should use a tubeless tire. Now, the reason for that is because putting a tube in a tire uh, is going to increase the friction in that. It's going to increase the rolling resistance. And of course, that creates more extreme heat cycles. And that, again, is going to shorten the lifespan of your tire. So it's really not worth doing if you can avoid it. If the motorcycle specifies, hey, use a tubeless tire, you might as well just go ahead and use a tubeless tire because that's really going to be the best option for you. If you are running a tube tire, there's a couple of things you're going to have to buy with it. The first one, of course, is the inner tube. Now, there's three things you need to know about this. There's going to be the uh, valve stem type, there's going to be the rim diameter, and there's going to be the tire width. You're going to need to know all these things to buy the right inner tube for that tire. The other thing you're going to have to buy with it is the rim tape. The rim tape is what goes around your rim and covers up all those little joints where the spoke meets the wheel. And this is really important because if those joints aren't covered up, they're quite pokey and they're just going to pop your inner tube. So it's worth getting new rim tape every time you buy a new tire because rim tape tends to wear out and crack at the same rate that tires wear out and the same rate that inner tubes wear out. So really, if you're buying a tire, it's worth replacing your inner tube and replacing your rim tape at the same time. The latter of that, the rim tape is like two bucks a pop. It's the cheapest flat prevention you can ever get. So it's really worth doing every time you replace your tube to tire. That's it for this section on tube versus tubeless. Uh, there's lots more coming in our motorcycle tire guide. If you have more questions, keep watching, keep reading. And if something obscure is kind of nagging at you, just call customer service. They'll be happy to help you out. For this section, however, thank you very much for watching.